Hi everyone, welcome to our online workshop where we're going to be showing you how to make a floral centrepiece. We're not going to be using floral foam for this design, um, which is something we're quite passionate about here at the Flower Studio, trying to be as environmentally friendly as possible. So today I've got um, an old fashioned rose bowl that's got the metal grid in the top, which you can use to put your stems through. And that's just filled with a little water. You can pick these up quite inexpensively from charity shops. I've got a nice little collection of them now that are silver and crystal. Um, or if you can't find one of those, you can use any bowls such as this lovely brass bowl. And I've made, um, I've just scrunched up a little bit of chicken wire in the middle and attached it with a couple of bits of florist tape so it doesn't move about. And again, you're just creating a cage there for the stems to sit in when you start your design. I'll list all the flowers that we use at the end of um, the tutorial so that if you wish to recreate something like this at home you know have a rough idea of the varieties that we've used or you can choose your own varieties if you prefer to make something in a different colour. Also if you grow flowers and greenery in your garden um, this is a really beautiful design to use homegrown flowers because you can use a really beautiful mixture of materials and it will still look amazing. To start the design, I'm going to use some eucalyptus to give me an idea of how big the um, overall design is going to be. If you're not sure on the size that you want, um, pop your bowl in the middle of the table where, or wherever it's going to go and mentally decide how far away from the bowl your flowers and greenery need to come. Obviously you don't want bits of greenery sticking in people's plates while they're eating. so. Um, you want to make sure that you've got a really nice size. I'm also stripping off the leaves from the bottom of the stems so that there's no leaves in the water which keeps it nice and clean and makes your arrangement last longer and also it gives you lots of space in the middle um, for when you start putting in the larger stems of the flowers. As you can see all of my stems are aiming for the middle of the design at the moment and um, the same as you do if you're making a bouquet you're trying to spiral them round so that they sit nicely and there's not too much crowding in the middle. I also like to cut my stems on a diagonal which you've probably heard of before and that's just to make sure that there's the maximum amount of stem available to take up water um, and it just means it's got a really nice clean cut going into the water as well. I've also got some ivy which I've foraged from um, my loaf, my hedge outside my workshop which has got these really beautiful berries on and I'm just going to add a little bit of that in there as well. I prefer to use more than one type of greenery because it gives, um, it gives you nice texture in the design as well. And I've also got some pampas grass which um, has come from a lady's garden near to me and I'm just going to cut it into small pieces like so and again this just adds in another texture and pampas grass has really come back into fashion recently as well um, along with rose bowls and macrame and loads of um, loads of things that we thought had been left behind in the 70s, but I do love them. So next I'm going to um, pop in some of this lovely wax flower. This has got a really lemony scent um, and again another texture in amongst everything else that's already in there. You can get this in a pink variety as well, um, but I've chosen the white one for this design. Got some Astrantia, which is nice, it kind of comes in a branched form, so you can cut it into small pieces, which is perfect for a design like this. Any little pieces that you have coming off the stems, if you keep those to one side as well, and I'll show you how we can use those in the styling at the end of the um, tutorial. Another flower that 
I have is Ami, um, which is in the dill family and also has a really lovely scent. And then there's the similar shaped Dorcas Carota, which is this lovely burgundy colour. I've also got some white Estrantia as well as the burgundy one. Every now and again just turn your design round as well to make sure that you've got no um, empty spaces or any bits showing in the middle. I've got these lovely roses which are one of my favourite varieties at the moment and um, they're called quicksand and normally we would take off um, what is called the guard petal on the outside because they can sometimes be a bit bruised but with these roses there's also another trick that you can do and that is to open up the flower um, a little bit earlier than say it would naturally do and you do that by gently folding the petals out so very carefully not to bruise them too much there's some roses that wouldn't take too kindly to this being done to them um, like pure white roses might find that they bruise um, but this variety quicksand is one that um, takes quite kindly to being manhandled and then you end up with this very beautiful almost garden rose look so I'm going to do that with these roses just so that they have a really good impact in the design I've also got these really lovely carnations which are a nice caramelly colour um, and they go really well with these quicksand roses and carnations are another flower that you can gently tease the flowers to open them. And then there's some spray roses, which again are in this lovely kind of peachy pink palette. And with spray roses, you can cut the stems to make several branched pieces. And again, if there's any small pieces like this left over, pop them to one side and we'll use those in the styling afterwards. And one of my favourite spring flowers are ranunculus and these only came in um, yesterday so some of them are quite open and the ones that are um, open they will just keep opening and opening until you get this beautiful almost tissue paper like pom pom. And then they also have these really sweet little buds as well um, so pop those in as well.
So that is the finished piece with all the materials in that I've used today. I will photograph this um, in a styled setting and pop that at the end of this video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this and um, look forward to creating more of these for you. Thank you.